It's finally time to drive the all new redesigned 2022 Tundra. I'm sitting in a limited double cab, but this thing still has a lot of features. So let's get on the road and we're gonna follow this uh, smoked mesquite tundra in front of us that is uh that looks like a 1794 so we're just gonna have a lot of fun here uh, we're, we have to go through a little bit of a dirt gravel path to get to the road and i'm gonna reset the fuel economy here on my way out i drove it might have been that exact 1794 and <clears throat> about 50 miles of my driving i got 22 miles per gallon uh driving super conservatively that was mainly on the highway and yes, this, this new Tundra drives a lot different than the old one. Uh, the ride is much, much smoother. This one actually is equipped with the ride height control. So uh, I can raise and lower the rear suspension uh, with an air ride. So that's pretty cool. And it, it can auto level if I wanna put like an Airstream on it or something like that. Uh, but here we are just going in the, the gravel path. Now, in terms of ergonomics, as, as we get going here, everything is right where I want it. Uh, the shifter, my hand just sits on naturally as my elbow rests on the armrest here. Uh, the steering wheel is nice and girthy. Uh, everyone loves the girthy steering wheel and there's a real fat part right here at the bottom that's just Proceed great. Point oh, she is loud. Oriole Trail. We just muted her. She is very loud, <laughs> louder than I'm speaking. I feel like I'm yelling. Anyways, uh, you can put your hand here on the bottom and just kind of relax uh, driving. It's, it's a great steering wheel. Now the 14 inch touchscreen is huge and it takes some getting used to because you literally, uh, when you have a destination like I have right here, you literally have to like turn your head almost to see where you're going. And it's, it's gonna be an adjustment for a lot of people, uh, but it, I'm already used to it, but I just noticed it, it, it is, off to the side if you want to see uh, your navigation. Now for those models equipped with a heads-up display, your turn-by-turn -turn navigation pops up on the heads-up display, so at least you have that. You don't always have to look over, but man, the 12 inch or the 14 inch screen is great. I have it in the dark mode. Uh, you can put it in automatic mode where it automatically it brightens with the daylight, etc. I like the dark mode. I, I'm a kind of like that. Uh, dark mode even on my computer so uh, it's it's nice that I have that ability to make this screen black when I want it to be and we have some open road here that's exciting I think I'm I think I'm taking a right let's uh, press this there we go and now we also have drive modes in here so this uh, just has sport normal and eco with the four inch MID and I'm gonna roll into the road here and we got this new twin turbo V6. Oh, red light. So let's get into it and then hit the brakes hard. And the brakes in here are fantastic. Smooth as butter. That's the first time I got in the brakes on this one, but the same brakes is what I drove in the 1794. I, I, oh, I should be turning here. Anyways, let's, uh, let's use that torque. Oh, I did not even mean to spin the tires there. I just power drifted around. Anyways, yeah, it's in, it's in too high right now. And I just uh, spun the tires unintentionally. So we're talking torque, and I, I wasn't flooring it by the way. So uh, rest assured, if you wanna do burnouts in your new Tundra, you can do it. I just unintentionally did it there. Uh, so yeah, be mindful. You have max torque at around 2,400 RPM, and that's 479 pound-feet of torque. And you have uh, three, 389 horsepower at a little over 5,000 RPM. And I'm just gonna gun it here, pedal down, a little little delay, but it goes. I mean, there's 55. And it's uh, it sounds a little bit more aggressive in the 1794, I feel like. I don't know if that was just me, but I felt like that sounded a little bit more throaty, almost V8-like, but in terms of the smoothness of this engine, guys, it's there. And that was something I was worried about because uh, the twin turbo V6 and the Lexus LS, which is a variant of this 3.44 uh, twin turbo V6, the V35A FTS, and it is very smooth. So uh, speed limit's 20, so and I'm kind of like in a park, so I can't really uh, push it too hard here, but rest assured, the engine's very, very smooth. The ride in here is very smooth, and the visibility is great. This uh, double cab actually has a couple, well, I mean, it's loaded. So it has a heated steering wheel. It has heated and ventilated seats. It has a 14-inch screen. It has uh, the sunroof. 
Of course, no panel roof on the double cab. You can actually fold down the seats in this double cab. There's not a whole lot to see behind it, but there is a JBL subwoofer in the back. The sound system sounds really, really good. The bass is good, and oh my gosh, this is gonna be a gorgeous lookout. Look out, guys, I need to find a place to get you some B-roll because it's gonna be extra tasty. And I think we can just end the navigation, really easy to end the navigation compared to outgoing uh, Toyota navigation models. Like this is just so easy to get to. Everything is just uh, like large font. So it's not hard to miss when you're uh, driving around and you need to poke a bit. Now, driving on the highway, I'm not doing it right now. It's smooth, it's comfortable. You do get a little bit of wind noise from the large mirrors. Uh, but overall, it is still like a, a very comfortable and uh, fun cruising experience if you're uh, driving on the highway. Here's a, another limited Tundra. This is the Crew Max to our side. It looks like uh, he's talking to the GoPro just like I am. We're a bunch of, bunch of weirdos talking to ourselves out here. But I'm going to find a great place to get some B-roll here, I promise. Okay, we found a beautiful place to go ahead and do a walk around on this uh, double cab here. Lake in the background, so let's get into it. Double cab limited now the double cab is going to be available on the limited the sr5 and the sr you're not going to be able to get the double cab on let's say the platinum the 1794 and of course not the trd pro now this one like i said when we were driving up here has a really really decked out interior there's lots of interior options this exterior has some options on it as well now standard on this grade are the led fog lights right here at the bottom of the grill and standard also on the limited is going to be the sparkly gray uh, front grill. You, that's one of the designations. There are unique grills to every single grade of Tundra. Now these are the optional upgraded uh, headlights here. So they're like a quad beam LED. Those are definitely an upgrade over the base headlights. Now we have these 20 inch uh, gray with aluminum finish, or should I say machine finished wheels. I think they, they fit really, really well with the paint match fender arches. Now, one of the dealer uh, installed accessories on this model are the running boards here. Now, on the higher grades like the Platinum, the 1794, you'll be able to get uh, running boards that are electronic that, you know, when you open the door, it's going to pop out and allow you to get in. Uh, just keep in mind that these are <laughs> really, really sharp. So watch your shins as, as, uh, if you get this upgrade. Now, there's a good amount of chrome here on the side, not like what we see in the Platinum model, for example, uh, but you do have a little bit of chrome, of course, on the limited badge, as well as the door handles and on the side mirrors. Uh, the side mirrors, by the way, are auto folding in that model or as an option on some of the higher models as well. Now, single exhaust tip, you can get a uh, dealer installed chrome tip if you wanted, but uh, it, looks, it looks good enough. And all exhaust tips come out to the side on this new Tundra. I feel like from this angle, you can really tell the dimensions are a little bit more tight up front with the double cab. I think it looks really, really good from this uh, kind of rear quarter panel view. On the bumper, it's kind of like this reflective silver color, not nearly as ornate as like a, the TRD Pro with its tactical camo down there. Of course, Tundra embossed into the tailgate here. Chrome again on the tailgate handle, which is not really a handle, just a button here opens up and that reveals uh, the six and a half foot bed that we have installed on this model really light really easy to fold up and if i want to fold it down boom hit that button and there it folds down really really easy and like i said super light you also have this power accessory right here that you can uh, plug in your power tools or whatnot your portable grill while you're tailgating and coming down from this beautiful lake reserve here this bro's got a shirt off str strutting real hard <laughs> anyways uh the, the back seat this is the first time I've seen the back seat in the double cab, and I actually was surprised how much leg room I had. Um, it wasn't, um, my legs weren't actually poking into the seat. So my seat's set up for six foot one. Yes, I could push my knees into the back of the seat. So it's, uh, it's comfortable in the fact that like my knees are not crammed to death but I wouldn't want to take a long trip on it. So definitely if, the, if you're getting this back seat and you have kids make sure they're not you know six feet tall they probably won't appreciate it but what they would appreciate is that even though the back seat's really really small in comparison to the crew max you actually have a usb a and a usb c and a normal plug-in back there so i thought that was phenomenal that 
Toyota is still catering to passengers in the smaller uh, four-door configuration. And again, we're gonna get into the throttle here just because we can, and it, it's gone. <laughs> so smooth, so smooth, and it's, it's surprising that uh, you know this new 10-speed transmission is very decisive. It's definitely better than the outgoing uh, six-speed transmission on the Tundra, so it's, it's impressive. Now, after all my idling, my, my fuel economy is gone, but uh, Toyota is saying 20 miles per gallon with the twin-turbo V6 average fuel economy, and like I told you earlier, my highway driving was just around 22 with very conservative driving on the highway. Now the four inch MID, you know, it's not quite as nice as the uh, the 12 inch MID that we have on some of the higher grades, which by the way is an option here on this limited trim, uh, but it is, it gets a job done. It gives me all the information I need. It's just in a smaller package. Uh, I, I do like the analog gauges here. They're very basic, but they, uh, they're adequate. And trying to get around this Volvo here, accelerating onto the freeway and here's the stop <laughs> so we'll finish this video up this is uh, kind of just an introductory on the crew cab uh, or should i say the double cab uh, with the smaller four-door option and the uh, limited interior uh, rear rear passenger space but overall i mean it's still the same twin turbo v6 uh, the 10 speed automatic this guy's waving me through with his larger limited four-door uh, option here and that's the gentleman i saw at the lake as well oh that's a nice tacoma trd pro man it's handling this off-road it's super smooth to me it feels even smoother than it did in the 1794 with the airbags well this has the airbag suspension too but for some reason maybe it was the adaptive variable suspension on it that made it feel a little bit different but i feel like it this feels even more smooth which doesn't make sense <laughs> and every, all of these are pre-production models mind you as well so just know that even in uh, the lower grades it's still very uh, compliant comfortable well riding and well damped suspension with the coil springs in the rear that's something i haven't mentioned yet but yeah double wishbone on the front coil springs replace the leaf springs in the rear uh, and yeah i promise i'm letting you guys go and i'll be quiet the rest of this drive 